Hello friends. Today I will discuss the mechanics of train movement. So here in a train, we find the totally four parts. One is electric motor armature. From armature, the power is transferred to the pinion and which is connected to the shaft of the armature. And from the pinion, the power is transferred to the gear wheel. And from gear wheel, the power is transferred to the driving wheel. Let us see how they are related. So first let me consider how the uh, annular gear is present. Similarly, where we find the pinion, So this is the pinion and which is attached to the motor uh, shaft and this pinion will drive the gear wheel. This is nothing but gear wheel and this gear wheel will be connected to the outer wheel. So let us see how they are in reality. So this is the traction motor. And the traction motor shaft is here and this shaft is connected to the pinion. This is this why it is nothing but pinion and that pinion is connected in turn pinned to the what is called the gear wheel. This is called gear wheel and this gear wheel will have the attachment to the wheel. This is also called road wheel or simply outer wheel so where we experience the power or torque. So here we have the pinion and we have the gear wheel and from these two we find the two diameters. One the, the diameter of the pinion is uh, measured as D1 whereas the diameter of gear wheel is considered as D2 and once we know this we define a term called gear ratio that gear ratio is nothing but the ratio of the diameter of gear wheel to the diameter of pinion that is D2 this is the gear wheel diameter D2 and this is the uh, pinion diameter D1. So this D2 by D1 will indicate the gear, gear ratio. So what is the importance of this gear ratio? The meaning of that is if the suppose we take this we assume as spinion and this we assume as gear wheel. If the pinion makes say the pinion has five teeth whereas the gear will have the 10 teeth and the this pinion is on the gear wheel like this. If the pinion makes two revolutions whereas the, the gear wheel make, makes only one revolution that is so it is like this front, front spins twice that is this and whereas the rear spin once. So that is how they move. So that movement is decided by gear ratio. So that is the reason why we use gear ratio formula in the coming derivation. And when it comes to the diagram it will be like this. This gear uh, gear wheel we represent inner and whereas the uh, outer uh, wheel is nothing but the road wheel that is also called driving wheel and whereas this is the track and this is the pinion and the pinion diameter is D1 whereas the diameter of the gear wheel is D2 and the diameter of outer wheel that is also called road wheel that is also called driving wheel will have the diameter capital D. Now, 
so our aim is to know so what is the tractive effort received by the outer wheel because of the electric motor so for that we have to assume certain things like this let the torque exerted by the electric driving motor is capital t in newton meters similarly we define here a term called x so there is nothing but adhesive weight divided by dead weight so adhesive weight is represented by w a and dead weight is represented by w similarly we have the coefficient of adhesion that is represented by mu a and this mu a is defined as the total tractive effort received by the road wheel to the accelerating weight or adhesive weight that is w a and from this we can say the tractive effort received by the outer wheel or driving wheel is nothing but coefficient of adhesion mu a into w a so this w a we can represent in terms of the dead weight like this x into w so we are replacing w a with x into w so so tractive effort is equal to mu a into x into w similarly let f1 is the tractive effort at the pinion so we have seen what is pinion and similarly ft is the tractive effort at the wheel that is road wheel and d1 is diameter of pinion and d2 is the diameter of gear wheel and capital d is diameter of driving wheel which i have explained before so gear ratio also i told is equal to t d2 by d1 where d2 is nothing but the diameter of the gear wheel whereas d1 is the diameter of the pinion and similarly here we assume eta is equal to efficiency of power transmission from motor to the driving wheel that is from this to driving wheel means here therefore the total torque received at the outer wheel is nothing but t is equal to f1 into d1 by 2 so that is equal to f1 is equal to 2t divided by d1 now we can write what is ft so ft is nothing but eta that is efficiency into f1 into d2 by capital d so therefore we can write this equation eta into so we have seen what is f1 f1 is nothing but 2t by d1 so we write here we substitute that value here into d2 by d so after rearranging the terms we get like this eta into t into 2 by d into d2 by d1 is equal to 2 eta t into gamma that is gear ratio into 1 by d so we can further write like this 2 gamma eta into t by d this is the final expression for the tractive effort received at the outer wheel and let us see here the what is the a uh, coefficient of adhesion effect if the ad coefficient of adhesion in the electric traction is more than that in the steam traction due to the following two reasons in the electric traction the torque exerted is continuous whereas in case of steam traction it is pulsating so the skidding of the wheels is possible so similarly here in electric traction 
the driving wheels are distributed over the much greater length whereas in steam traction the wheels are close to each other there is possibility of uh, skidding so since the value of the tractive effort in the electric traction is more so the train will move at faster because of the high acceleration so this results in saving in the time and also power and when the distance between the stops is small it is more useful so that is for urban services and suburban services so this electric traction is more useful so here once again summarize we have seen what is gear ratio how the pinion is connected to the motor and uh, how the pinion is connected to the gear wheel and how the gear wheel is connected to the driving wheel and uh, what is the coefficient of adhesion and what is the effect of it and what is the ratio of adhesive weight to the dead weight and we have seen how the um, what is the tractive effort at the pinion and from that we have calculated the force acting on it and then we have seen the what is the total tractive effort at the driving wheel or the outer wheel so in terms of the force acting on the pinion so that is eta into f1 into d2 by d and we also saw the difference between the steam traction and the electric traction so electric traction is more useful than the steam traction and it is more safe and the cost also maintenance cost is also less for suburban and urban services